too complicated. You should just make a long cigarette like this long. So you don't have to like chain smoke it. You just, you just keep it on. <laughs> this looks weird. <laughs> you go mess with John. What? Woo, that guy got hops. That boy got hops, bro. Tell me you're from Florida without telling me you're from Florida. <laughs> that you're not, when you're not afraid of iguanas. Hey, what's up guys? David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. Another beautiful day in Miami, Florida. And right next to me, I wanted to go over our brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz S580 4Matic sedan. Now it's a 2022 model, as I already ju just mentioned. And I wanted to go over a little bit because it's a brand new car. Not a lot of people have seen it on the road. And to be honest, not a lot, of, a lot of people notice you on the road. I actually drove this car to, uh, to Burger King uh, and a couple of other places and nobody even looked my way, which is pretty interesting uh, because you know this is the pinnacle of Mercedes now being their S-Class, which is a top model. But um, I don't know if it's the color or if it's the soft design, but I'm very interested in seeing what Mercedes does with the AMG versions. Maybe they uh, flare out these fenders a little bit or create some really cool vents up in the front and the rear with carbon that will kind of separate it. But for now, this is what I like to mess with Ben and call it the uh, old man spec. Now, I don't want to any, anybody to think that I'm um, ageist. Is that is that a thing? That's ageist, right? Ageism, yeah. Ageism? yeah. Not, not by any means, but this is definitely catered to uh, the average buyer that's a little bit in the older uh, segment. And you could tell by that just how comfortable it is on the inside. I sit down and I want to fall asleep. And I'm not really into luxury cars. I like sports cars, but this thing makes me want to just relax and drive in opulence. So this color, I wish I had the window sticker out here in the sun. You can tell it's a silver, but it has a very, very small amount of blue tint to it, which is pretty cool. Um, if Marvin behind the camera takes a couple of photos of this car and does a little bit of tweaks on the filters, you actually can bring out the blue a little bit more. The reason I have this car out here today is because this is the second set of wheels that we've done and we're actually selling the car. I think it has a buyer as of yesterday. So I want to make sure that we get it on video before we let it go. We only drove it a couple hundred miles, but pretty cool car. We wanted to be able to get the car in-house and develop the wheel fitment for it. That's something that we often do with a bunch of new cars. Uh, we're one of the first ones to usually get the car and develop the fitment. So as I mentioned, this is the second set that we have on it. Hopefully Marvin can pop up some photos of the first set, which was a set of Anarchy AN18s, I believe, in a brushed silver. These bad boys right here are the HRE P103s. So it's a multi-spoke wheel. I believe it's probably uh, maybe 15 spokes if I'm not mistaken. So you got three, six, nine, 12, 15 in total, what they call a multi-spoke design. And that's a beautiful polished dark clear finish. So up front, we have a 22 in the front. In the rear, we have another 22. And I believe it's a 22 by nine and a 22 by 10. I might be off by half an inch. Again, this car is brand new, so I still don't have the complete fitment memorized, but it should be those. You should be running a 255, 30, 22 in the front and maybe a 295, 25, 22 in the rear, which is gonna be a Pirelli. So really cool fitment. Um, the fitment is different from the previous generation S-Class. So this with the new S-Class, this generation code internally from Mercedes is called the W223 and the generations before that were the 222 and then 221 so on and so forth so yes this fitment is different from the previous generation s classes if you have a previous generation s class whether it's an s63 s65 s500 or any of those those wheels do not fit on this new one so unfortunately not interchangeable um, i guess in a way that's good for us because we have a lot of new wheel sales but um, it is what it is and mercedes decided to do the offsets a little bit different from factory which is what is the um, you got to use a different fitment for this car so i think mercedes mentioned that by 2030 the year 2030 they're going to have uh, strictly all electric vehicles so we better get used to all of that this car 
has about 496 horsepower and about 516 foot-pounds of torque, making the zero to 60 4.4 seconds, which is quite impressive uh, with this sedan, which I would imagine weighs around at least 4,000 pounds or about two tons. And it's got the EQ Boost, as I mentioned, which is a 48 valve, um, 48 valve battery and it produces 20 horsepower and 133 foot pounds of torque from that. So this thing gets moving. It's, as, in, as I mentioned earlier, very opulent, very relaxing. You get inside, you don't even hear anything on the outside, anything that's happening to you. So you're almost cocooned in traffic and things like that. And we have the interior with the diamond stitching. Ben, would you like to say anything about your S580? No, but if you wanna drive me around and I'll relax in the back. Okay, yeah, hop on in, come on. Yeah, I gotta work. Oh, you gotta work? I gotta play like you I'm not playing. I'm working too, this is work. <laughs> so if uh, Marvin, I'm gonna take this, I don't know who drinks Mountain Valley water, spring water, I'm, I'm a peasant. Just give me Miami's Finest from the top. You've got the diamond stitching, red interior. You've got the huge screen in the middle, another screen in front of you behind the steering wheel. Funny story, I know I'm getting old because I went to go take this on that Burger King run, run that I mentioned and I started to move out and I parked it there for about 10 minutes trying to figure out how the heck to get maximum AC on this thing. So obviously all of the controls are now through that center screen. If I had to make a, an estimate, it's probably about 10 inches in total. And you've got a bunch of buttons on the bottom, uh, some, something that says dynamic, another one is your hazards, a power screen, a volume screen. So it took me a long time to try and figure it out. I think I just gave up after 10 minutes and went to go get my Burger King. But I'll open up the back here since Anybody who owns this car, they're spending the majority of the time the time back here. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't even think that you can sit somebody in the middle here. Let me see here. No, I don't, I, don't, I mean, it's gonna be pretty uncomfortable there, but you've got everything that you would ever want back here. You've got the AC controls, a double moon roof or sunroof, as some would call it. Then you have the cushiony pillows. Oh man, I didn't even notice this. Wow, hold on. I didn't even notice. Oh man, I get my hair cut tomorrow, so don't judge me. Oh my goodness. This feels amazing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to drive this car. I think I just want to be driven in it. But uh, the interior looks amazing. You got the nice carpet. It feels very soft on my feet. I think uh, Ben's kids would have fun back here, but again, he just sold the car. And then as I open up the glove box, I saw a little bit of fragrance. So this car is one of the, the S-Class models that has the, the smells, the perfume or the cologne, whatever you'd like to call it, and fills up the entire interior with that pleasant smell. So that's pretty cool. You also have a lot of these lightings, light, lights all the way through the, throughout the cabin of the car. You can change them in a hundred different colors. It's pretty unique. I am, I'm, pretty mo I'm pretty much impressed more with the interior than the exterior. Hey, Charlene, Hi. you're making a, your first cameo. Charlene, you like this car? Where are you going? Go, I'll, I'll drive you in it. But anyways, going back to the, to the HREs that I mentioned at the top, P103s, polished dark clear. So this is like a mirror-like finish. As you can see it out here in the sun, it has a really dark tint to it. One of my favorite finishes. And there's nothing darker than this other than gloss black or satin black. So if you call me, a common request that I get is, hey, I want something that's dark but not black. That would be this option here. They also have the brush dark clear and stone dark clear. They have frozen dark clear. So Atrio over, offers over 75 different finishes. I know basically all of them by memory, so feel free to call me and talk about that. Um, but I think that's enough talking about this car, the S580. I can't wait to see the Maybach version in person. I can't wait to see some of the uh, AMG models and also the EQS in person, which the EQS again doesn't look exactly like this and it's not uh, just an electric version of it. It's just what Mercedes is positioning their EQ brand with the S model. Everybody knows the S class is the big daddy. So very, very cool. I'm very happy to see that this car is going out to a new home and they were able to get it on video and some photos before it does go. So all right, guys, so I want to hear from all of you, as I always do. Leave a comment in the section below. Let me know which wheel model do you like better on our S580. I'm going to pause for dramatic effect, and then I'll have Marvin 
on the editing, put a top and a bottom. At the top, we're gonna have our S580 with the very first set, which was the Anarchy AN18s in brush clear. At the bottom, we're gonna have the HRE P103s in the polished dark clear, which is of course what's on the car now. Let us know why also you prefer one or the other. We don't just wanna see a comment of AN18s or P103s. I wanna know why you guys like a specific model over the other. That helps us go a long, long way with making a couple of recommendations for a couple of other S580 owners. So as this car starts rolling out more to the masses, we will be seeing it a lot, a lot, a lot and we'll be doing a lot of cool wheel models. Off the top of my head, I sold a set of 4G autos to an S580 client just earlier this week. So I'm very excited for that. We'll try and get that car on video as well. Let us know what you think about the S-Class W223 chassis code overall, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.